What we wear can be a form of self-expression. I bet you knew that. But how much do your clothes reveal about you? A recent study finds that wearing formal clothing can actually enhance your ability to think abstractly. Heidi Grant Halverson is a social psychologist and the author of No One Understands You and What to Do About It. <laughs> Heidi joins us once again at the table. So, Heidi, I think this mm -hmm. is such a fun topic. You've come up with some really interesting things. When you say formal clothing, you're not talking about tucks and gowns. You're talking no, no. about business attire like what we're wearing. Absolutely. Compared Every to day. dress down Friday. Exactly. Compared to the sort of like jeans and t-shirt wear. So what's the relationship? How does it affect us? Well, it's, it's really interesting. What the studies seem to show is that when people wear more formal clothing, they, uh, they actually feel more powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually look more powerful to other people, but they feel that largely unconsciously. And it actually causes their brains to... Um, be in a state where they'll think more abstractly. And what that means is they'll sort of see the big picture, they'll be more creative, they're a little bit better at problem solving. So for a lot of the kinds of work that some people do, the idea of a casual Friday means maybe giving up some of the creativity and, and insightful thinking that you might otherwise be doing on that. Friday. Another uh, interesting part of the study too was the impact of wearing a white doctor's coat. What did right. they find? So again, it shows that, that you know the way that clothing affects us has everything to do with what we feel that clothing means. In that study, which was done at Columbia by a colleague of mine, Adam Galinsky, he, he had people wear white coats and told them either that it was a doctor's coat or that it was a, a painter's smock. Mm. And he found that then when he gave them a chance to perform a task where they had to really notice the tiny details and differences in things, people who were told they were wearing a doctor's coat performed much better because we associate critical thinking and attention to detail with being a doctor, but not necessarily with being a painter. Mm -hmm. So it's all about what you think your clothing means, that's how it affects you. So Steve Jobs had mm -hmm. a work uniform, which was the, right. the black but, sweater, right? And then we know um, entrepreneur Elizabeth Holmes, who is the youngest billionaire in the world, also has this work outfit. Yeah. Same thing almost every day. Is that a good idea? I think it really can be. Uh, what we do know is that decision making in general, right, deciding what to wear, or deciding what to eat, it really is costly. It's a yeah. kind of a, the part of the brain that engages in decision making is sort of an energy hog and it makes yeah. you really tired. So, so whatever you can cut down on the decisions you make, whether it's in what you're eating or what you're wearing, you're saving that energy for more important decisions. President Obama told Michael Lewis. Yes, you know, absolutely. In a famous yeah. article that he had limited the choices he had to make by, in clothes by wearing right. essentially the same suit, same white shirt, same Kind of time. And when you decide, make decisions all day, it really is important to think about how you can simplify. It doesn't mean you have to be Steve Jobs and wear exactly <clears> the same <throat> outfit every single day, but how can you cut down on the choices? What about the color? The, the color. clothing that you wear. <laughs> the color of the clothing affects what you as well. What does fluorescent chartreuse mean? Well, it's, 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 it certainly it evokes happiness, yeah. right? You feel happy wearing it. Yes. Uh, mm. Colors do have a strong <laughs> yes. effect on, on other people, and they have a strong effect on us. Does it so mean a hunger for attention? Uh, <laughs> Not, not necessarily. Uh, it, it is true, though, that wearing... <laughs> You're lucky she's not wearing black right now, Charlie, because black, black actually, is... wearing black makes people feel a little bit more powerful and aggressive. There's actually... And, which, and red right. means something, too. And red means... Red is their competition between women, you say. Yes, red, oh. actually, red, because we associate it with, with sexuality and also power, um, makes women more attractive, um, but also can make women more competitive with, with women who wear red. What do red shoes mean? <laughs> they're, they're, those are just fabulous. That's what the research says. They're fantastic. You like my shoes? It means needy. <laughs> <laughs> what well, about Charlie? She wants what attention. Charlie yeah, wearing what is tennis his, shoes. What does it say about him? Possibly he wears tennis shoes. You wear tennis with shoes yeah. with your, and, well, I mean, All the time. most yeah. of the time people can't see them, so That's it doesn't true. really mean anything. Not but about to, about you, to do what she did either. <laughs> to you, it probably makes you feel more comfortable, right? Yeah, which yeah, makes absolutely. you, which makes you. It is not a fashion statement, but I like the fact that it's untraditional. Yeah, discomfort in clothing is always a bad thing. So It really is exactly. fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I do, th I do right. think that clothing can have, as you say, it can mean mm -hmm. affect your psychology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I yeah. get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi.